hello and welcome guys hope you are doing great so in this video today we will learn about custom report how you can generate a custom report inside model so let's begin with that so for that come inside uh, your admin login area and click on the site administration and here you see the reports you see the reports click on it and you can also see report builder here you can see custom report and custom report settings click on custom report settings custom report setting if you can set if you want to restrict the limit the number of custom report may be limited for performance region okay so that is why this restriction is required custom report live edit editing whether it is possible or not you have to check this option so let's come back to this previous page report builder click on custom reports now create a new one new report put your name here activity let's suppose activity completion report select the report source you can select the course include default setup remove any duplicate row if you want okay. so click on save now and now here it will redirect you to, to a page from here you can you can say the course filter okay. let's suppose here you see category name course short name course full name course id number and if you want to add more like when the your course is a starting course is start date you can add so this will be added your last course in date if you want to add so this will be added here clear if you want to see the number of groups in your course group mode this also can be added from here condition if you want you can also put that for if you are creating for a specific category you can also do this from here again you filter course category if you want to sorting what will be the sorting field name and what will be the view column view or first column title yes the first column should be title so click on save change save changes and now click on all you the audience there are there are no audience for this report so just close this now and now you will have the report that will give you the details like this clear from here you can view report so you have one category cut short name this created in date no so here let me come to this page i have only one courses that is appearing here so this one basically is not a uh, if you go to again custom report you will see the list of all the reports you created so this one is a course report basically course list report save this one same way if you want to create another report you can also do that to click on a report activity report i don't want to select source let's see what it is saying so this select some of these sources required so you can select blog course participant so i want to select this one why because i want the course activity report so it will give you the course details as well as the user details so that you can mapping can be made clear so here 
are the list of default field you see the course name you see the enrollment type and you see the user full name if you want to add you can scroll down here if you want to add user email you can also do that so click on it so email is added here but let's suppose you want this here uh, after this enrollment you can also do that you can perform the drag and drop here clear same way if you want first name last name in separate you can also add this one if you want id number institute department let's click this one department that is a part of user it will display and along with this uh, create report feature you also see this preview of your data now i want you see the course full name course id course short name if you want so click on this course short name it will be added at the end and drag it to a bit early here so after course full name make it course short name then we have enrollment method then you will have uh, enrolled email id then user name full name and the department here if you want the course start date we can also put that so i want the course start date so this basically setting will come from course not when particular user is started okay same way we will have the course in date if you want to add if you want to add some category information you can also do that if you want the enrollment when the enrollment was made you can also uh, add from here clear i want the let's make it uh, collapse so here you see course course category enrollment user details group details course completion details and course access details i want to add course last access if anyone have access then last access will appear here you see the last access date and i also want the course completion date student progress you see it will be added here when time enrolled when the user was enrolled drag it with early before status completed when completed clear so this will be added here is it completed no if completed then it will be appearing date sorry yes you also see that time completed so it will be added here if someone have completed that particular course so now i think this that's enough you can also add the all the fields as per your business need and let me save this one and close okay so close this one and now you see i have the two reports now one is activity report and origin course report so click on this activity report again and you will see the preview like this if you want any additional stops like uh, setting up criteria search criteria filter sorting you can also do that clear so let me view the report to view this you have to come here view report and now your report is ready clear if you want to download this one you will have all the features like csv xls html table let me download the xls and here you go it opens all your records thank you thank you for watching and have a great day ahead